Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. Today we're going to look at video in Office Mix for PowerPoint. So Office Mix is that great tool that allows you to take your PowerPoint presentations and kind of take them to the next level, whether that is making a really interactive, quiz-heavy presentation, creating a video, and so on. We're actually going to look at video today in Office Mix. We'll look at how to record a video to be used on your slide and how to turn the entire presentation into a video. So kind of two sides of the same coin. We'll start here in PowerPoint 2013. These are the same steps you would take in PowerPoint 2016 once you have your Mix plugin added. So go to the Mix tab. And to start recording a slide, whether it's video or audio narration, you're going to add, click slide recording in the ribbon. And let me adjust my screen here so you can see this big recording pane. So now I've got my awesome recording panel here and there's a couple different things I can do. You can see that I'm speaking right now because that microphone bar is moving back and forth. And if I had a webcam installed on this computer, you would also see my video screen right now. Now if I did have my audio and video both going, you would see two options up here, record audio or record video. So if I click record, I actually start recording. Now you may have needed to choose from audio and video in your office mix. Now while I'm recording, I can narrate what's on my slide. I can also even add some written notations. So if you have a touch screen or a stylus, it'll certainly look better than that. And once you're done recording it or narrating your slide, you will click stop. And you can move on to the next slide to record by clicking next slide. You can also preview your slide recording here. So let me click preview. Now you probably didn't hear anything because I'm not recording my system noises right now, but I can tell you that I was able to hear my own voice and just give a little preview of what I'd recorded. If I need to start over, I can click delete slide recording, either just this one or the recording for all of my slides in the entire presentation. But let's just leave it and we'll click close. And now you'll be able to see a recording on the slide itself. So I can click this and again get a little preview of what I'd recorded. If you recorded your webcam, if you recorded yourself presenting, you'll see a little video panel here. So once I've recorded appropriately for all of my slides and I'm ready to turn my entire presentation into a video, it's really, really simple. I'll go to export to video and I can choose my video size here. I can also modify seconds spent on each slide. So the slides that don't have video or interactive content, maybe the title slide or some transition slides that I didn't wanna speak over, you can set the seconds to spend on each slide here. Click next. Now you can see that I have a dialog box where I can save my video to OneDrive, I can give it a new name and so on. Just click save for now. And right after you click save, your video begins exporting. So this one's gonna go pretty quickly probably. I will pause here and we'll come back when it's over and I'll show you what you get at the end. All right, now I get a success message. My video has been exported. I can click close. And in order to get to my video, I'll have to navigate to it on my own. All right, here it is. You can see it's an MP4. You can see the size. I can open it up. And my video recording is complete. So hope that tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one on Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.